past couple weeks, my CSA program asked if I could grow tomatoes and cucumbers all year round. So that's what we're planning on doing. So today we're picking up 24 next light LED lights to go over the section where I grow my tomatoes and cucumbers. Well, here they are. These are the new lights, 24 LED lights. These are from Next Light. They're the Plus Pro Series, 240 volts. We got a controller with it too. And these are going to go up into the greenhouse. We're gonna put these up over the tomato and cucumber area so that we can grow cucumbers and tomatoes all year long. Okay, so this is the Next Light Plus Pro Series. Let's see what this thing looks like. Lots of cords. Looks like we're gonna to have to get a 220 or 240 volt plug. These are the relay. It looks like there's a couple different hanging options here. I think these are the drivers. These actually drive the lights. Very heavy. the lights. Big huge heat sink and so those will get hung. Now we've got a uh, hanging chart on where these need to be placed. Next light actually provided that for our greenhouse so it tells us exactly where to install them. These lights also have a dimmer capacity with them and so we also bought the next light Pro Series control controller. This is a dimming control and programming. So we can actually turn the lights on and off. We can dim them. It does all kinds of stuff. So this was an added thing, but I think it's definitely going to be worthwhile. We can actually install this inside our control tunnel, and we'll be able to, to do everything that we need to do in programming with this. So it's got a little 12 volt and then these are all daisy chained into each other. It's also got a temperature probe, so we'll have to figure out exactly how to do that. So yeah, we're excited. We're gonna actually get all these lights installed over the tomato and the cucumber area, and then our CSA told us that um, anything that we grow, cucumber and tomato-wise, they'll buy them all we can grow. So. I think this is going to be a good investment for our greenhouse. Okay, so the plan in here is I'm going to come off this electrical panel right there and bend some new conduit. We're going to go up and out into the greenhouse there. This cabinet's going to come out and I'm probably going to take out this time clock and stuff too so that we can mount the uh, control panel right there for the lights. So I'll come out right here. We're going to run some conduit. I'm not sure if I'll go up this way and across or uh, maybe just run it underneath the gutter right there, the electrical conduit, and then I'll run in feed lines that'll go up to the top of the greenhouse. Uh, these are gonna be uh, put every, about three feet, all the way down this area, just over this area where the tomatoes and the cucumbers grow. There'll also be another run on this side that'll come down and that'll also hang the lights, so we're going to have to get some pipe to put that in. These couple of metal halid lights I'm going to probably take out, and uh, we'll leave the rest of them in because Katie uses them for harvesting, which will be good. But yeah, so that's the plan. So we have to get started on this project ASAP. I've already started the tomato and cucumber plants and some Vortex beans to go underneath the lights. 
So I've been washing the beto buckets like crazy, trying to get them all clean. And I think I'm going to do a little video on that because I realize that if you don't get every nook and cranny, you may get another bug infestation. So the next couple videos we're going to do are going to show how to bend conduit, run the wire, how to hook up the lights, how to hang the lights. And it's going to be good for anyone from a commercial grower to a hobby grower or someone who grows in their basement. So please stay tuned for the next videos. Help us grow the channel by liking and subscribing. See you next time.